I create a lot of presentations. Almost every day I'm working on a presentation. When you open PowerPoint, it provides you with a slide view. And this allows you to, you know, click to add a title in your subtitle and start adding your images. Uh, but I find when I'm creating new presentations, I get bogged down in trying to choose an image or which slide comes next. So my preferred way to create a presentation is to start with the outline view in PowerPoint. So to get this, I just go view and then I go outline view. And this works great because this gives me an opportunity to be able to just type in my text, not worry about graphic images or anything like that. So let's say if I wanted to create a presentation on leadership, I could type in leadership presentation, hit enter for a new slide. You know, what is leadership? And then I can go, you know, types of leadership, etc. You know, and then you can go type one, and then you can hit the tab to indent to, uh, you know, in order to add the bullet point there, or you can go shift tab to go out and make it a new one. So this is how for years I've created my presentations. I start off with the outline view. I love outlining. I use outlining for planning, for brainstorming, writing, and, when, and of course, whenever I create presentations. So it's a really fast way to speed up the process. I get all the text working first. Sometimes I even do a sample presentation myself just with the text. Then once I'm happy with the slide, all the different slides, all the different points, then I go ahead and add uh, my, uh, you know, images and things like that. But I've been looking at AI a lot lately. So I thought, well, what, you know, is there a way that I can use chat GPT to speed this up? So uh, here's an example. I went to chat GPT, the free version, and I just typed in create an outline for a PowerPoint presentation about leadership. And this is what I got and go, wow, you know, this, this just gives me a ton of stuff to work with. I can build on this, of course, with my own ideas, but the fact that it created this literally in less than a minute, like, you know, probably about 30 seconds, uh, it came up with a great presentation. One of the problems, though, is if I just copy and paste all this uh, into a PowerPoint presentation, it, it doesn't really work that well because what happens is even if I try to paste it into the outline view, it drops it all into one wall of text into one slide. So this doesn't work out very well. So what I found is I could take that same copy and paste, paste it into a Microsoft Word document and save it. And then what I could do is I could create a new PowerPoint, a new blank presentation. And then I can go and um, to the uh, new slide here and then go slides from an outline and then I can choose that Microsoft Word document and click there and then it will import it for me and it will create one slide for each one. So this worked out great as a way to a much easier way to get the chat GPT uh, outline into PowerPoint this way. Then, of course, now I've got, you know, I can still view it, of course, if I want in the outline view, if I want to add additional ones uh, or, you know, uh, but now I can go ahead and start adding my additional text, my graphics and things like that. And this is a much faster way for me. Uh, like I've always created all my presentations by starting with a outline and chat GPT has just made even the outline creation process much faster. So this works brilliantly. And this saves me a huge amount of time when creating new presentations for public speaking workshops or online presenting uh, such as webinars. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons uh, below and uh, leave us a comment uh, if you're using uh, AI in your presentations. Thanks for listening.